When you think of kangaroos, you immediately think of Australia. Join me as we explore the largest kangaroo farm here, a place full of surprises. If you're curious too, leave a number one below. The kangaroo is a lively symbol of Australia's wild landscape, especially familiar with its image hopping across the country's vast grasslands. Australia's open grasslands, sparse forests, and expansive semi-arid regions, with dry climates and low vegetation, are ideal for the grazing habits of kangaroos. They are most concentrated in states like Queensland, New South Wales, South Australia, and Western Australia. The kangaroo population across the country is estimated to exceed 40 million, meaning there are actually more kangaroos than people in Australia. They belong to the group of marsupials, in which the young are nurtured inside the mother's pouch after birth. They are herbivores and are most active during early morning and late afternoon. Australia is home to four main species of kangaroo. Among them, the red kangaroo is the largest and most widespread, capable of reaching up to 2 meters tall and weighing over 90 kilograms. The grey kangaroo, common in southeastern Australia, is smaller in size but can still grow up to 2 meters in length. Did you know that an adult male kangaroo can run at speeds of up to 60 km per hour? Kangaroos are not only cultural icons but also play an essential role in Australia's natural ecosystem. Kangaroos live in groups called mobs, with each group typically consisting of 10 to 50 individuals, and sometimes even reaching into the hundreds in areas with sufficient resources. Each mob is led by a strong male known as a boomer, who serves as the leader. Other males will challenge him for dominance in dramatic, boxing-style fights. Kangaroos are herbivores, with a diet mainly consisting of grasses, leaves, young shoots, and occasionally bark or succulent plants in dry conditions. In the wild, they use their sharp, strong molars to grind tough plant material, and they have a fermenting digestive system that helps break down fiber efficiently. Proper care requires providing a spacious living environment for movement, along with shelter from the sun and wind. In terms of reproduction, kangaroos have a unique system that involves giving birth to underdeveloped young and raising them in a pouch. The newborn is extremely small, only about 2 to 3 centimeters long, and crawls into the mother's pouch to nurse and continue developing for several months. Interestingly, female kangaroos have the ability to delay embryo development to match environmental conditions.
On average, a kangaroo mother can give birth to one joey per year, and often cares for both a young joey in the pouch and an older one that is weaning. If you like this fascinating animal, leave a number one in the comments below. Have you ever wondered how Australia is able to deliver kangaroo meat, a unique local delicacy, to consumers both domestically and internationally in a safe and legal way? In reality, the entire process is strictly regulated. After being collected, kangaroos are taken to hygiene inspection and quality assessment facilities before entering the processing stage. Next comes the preliminary processing phase, during which the meat is cut into various portions. The meat is then packaged in plastic bags or vacuum-sealed bags for retail distribution. It is preserved through chilling or freezing according to international standards to ensure food safety. Kangaroo meat is prepared in a variety of delicious dishes, have you ever tried a meal made from kangaroo meat? In addition to being raised for meat, kangaroos are also utilized in many other areas, from leather production and handcrafted goods to use in ecotourism programs. Kangaroo leather is known for its high durability and exceptional elasticity, making it widely used in the fashion industry and for manufacturing high-quality products. Common items include athletic shoes, protective gloves, handbags, and fashion accessories. This type of leather is not only lightweight, but also more environmentally friendly than many other types, as its processing typically requires fewer chemicals. In the tourism sector, kangaroos are a national symbol and a major attraction. Many wildlife reserves and farms combine kangaroo breeding with tourism activities, allowing visitors to closely interact with these animals. Tourists can participate in feeding, take photos, and learn about kangaroo behavior and biology. This has significantly boosted the local economy. Leave a number one in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Let's continue exploring cabbage farms and how the cultivation process works. Cabbage is a vegetable that thrives in cool climates, growing best at temperatures between 18 and 25 degrees Celsius. This ideal temperature range promotes fast growth, tight heads, and fewer pests. If temperatures exceed 30 degrees Celsius for an extended period, the plants may experience growth suppression, and the heads may not form properly or could crack. Therefore, areas with mild climates, high-altitude regions, or the winter-spring season are the best times to grow cabbage in Vietnam. As for soil requirements, cabbage prefers loose, nutrient-rich soil with a high organic matter content. The ideal soil pH is between 6 and 6.8, which helps the roots absorb nutrients more effectively. Additionally, the soil must have good drainage to prevent waterlogging, as cabbage roots are very sensitive to excess water and can rot if the soil retains moisture for too long. Soil preparation before planting, such as applying lime, using organic fertilizers, and raising the beds for better drainage, are crucial factors for healthy plant growth and high yields.
After 60 to 90 days from planting, depending on the variety and care conditions, the cabbage will be ready for harvest. At this point, the grower needs to carefully observe to ensure the heads are tightly formed, with the size meeting the required weight and shape for market demand. If harvested too early, the heads will be small and the yield low. If harvested too late, they may crack or be attacked by pests. After harvest, the cabbage needs to be handled carefully, removing old leaves, damaged or diseased parts. Next comes the cleaning and sorting process by size, followed by packaging in cardboard boxes or breathable mesh bags. To maintain freshness for longer, cabbage should be stored in a cool environment with high humidity levels of 90 to 95 percent. Have you ever seen the cabbage sorting process at vegetable cooperatives? After harvest and post-harvest processing, cabbage is mainly consumed in its fresh form. This is the most common method at traditional markets, produce stores, and supermarkets. In addition, cabbage is processed into various appealing products such as pickled cabbage, mixed salads, or vacuum pack to extend shelf life. The modern processing and packaging methods add value to the produce and provide convenience for consumers. Especially in large-scale cabbage growing areas, the products are also exported to international markets such as Japan, South Korea, and several European countries, where there is high demand for safe, high-quality vegetables. Have you ever tried traditional pickled cabbage? The mild sourness and crisp texture of fermented cabbage not only make meals more delicious, but also benefit the digestive system thanks to the natural fermentation process. From familiar dishes like kimchi, salad, pickled cabbage, and cabbage rolls with meat, to modern dishes like cheesy roasted cabbage or crispy cabbage chips. Additionally, cabbage is also juiced to aid digestion, used in vegetarian dishes like stir-fried cabbage with mushrooms, or as an ingredient in hot pots, soups, pancakes, and fried spring rolls. With its refreshing flavor, natural crunch, and high nutritional value, cabbage is an easy-to-cook vegetable that fits many different culinary styles. 